All right, good everybody. This is Emar Sopertu, the Sports Enquirer, and we are joined by Josh Edgar, a men's golf player for Georgia State. The team's preparing for the conference tournament in a few days. Before we get to that, Josh, the team was able to win its last time out at the Wofford Invitational. Uh, what was that like earning a team win for the program for the first time in four years? It was great. We uh, we had a lot of fun that week. We we feel like we haven't performed to our best uh, this semester, but we've been trending in the right direction. Um, we've had a lot of good scores back at home, and it just hasn't been relating into tournament play. But so it was no surprise for us. Um, we knew we were good enough to take that out, and the guys showed it on the last day. We had one of the best rounds um, and best team rounds of the day while we had the lead going into that final round as well. So it was a great performance from the team. Yeah, I spoke to Coach Wilson, uh, Coach Chad Wilson, the head coach of Georgia State men's golf uh, earlier. And you were saying the challenges of this season have been uh, very strong for the squad from the traveling with mask on to just a unique type of schedule. What's it been like for the players just trying to work through this season through a pandemic? Yeah, it's been interesting. Um, obviously, things we're not used to. You know, there's, we're basically travel to the tournament with masks on, uh, play the you know, play the tournament, and we spend the whole night in the hotel room. Whereas in the past, we would go out for dinner, be around the team a lot more. Whereas now, it's a lot more just one on one with the guy that you're rooming with, um, and there's not as much of that team interaction around dinner that we used to have. How do you get your time in as far as practicing? Coach said that sometimes you'll, in the middle of the drive, go to a range or try to get some holes in. Uh, how do you train to prepare uh, for tournaments and matches? Do you find yourself maybe more on your own having to get your 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 routine in? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially with classes being online, everyone's got a bit of a mixed schedule right now. Um, so definitely we're... You know, we've got our facility at Bobby Jones and you find quite often can be out there by yourself staggered throughout the day or you see one other guy, um, depending on how the schedule's going. And so, you you know, the great thing is uh, quite a few of the events we've played those courses before, so you can prepare for those courses and you know what to expect from previous years. But for the likes of, uh, we've got two freshmen who travel with us a lot and they haven't seen many of these courses before. So for them, it's, um, it's very different. Uh, preparation they go off what we tell them and what they need to practice for and that's that's about all they can do before they do the course yeah I think the whole team is in the same situation now heading into the conference tournament in Arkansas I don't think any of you have played this course before uh, I know the the women's tournament for the golf for the Sun Belt conference tournament was there but uh, none of you have played there how do you prepare for a course that you've never seen before yeah, it's, uh, it, it's tough. Um, so our assistant coach, he has put together like a, a map on the on a, a Word document and it shows where we can aim to hit our drives based on statistics and that sort of thing. So we've got that to prepare for now. But mainly it's, you know, just information that we've heard from, from other people. So we know it's a long course, which means hitting a lot more longer irons into green. So that's more of the preparation. It's going to rely a lot on short game too. So it'll be a lot of chipping and putting. Um, but a lot of that is just preparation until we see the course. And, you know, that what we practice here may not translate for there. We might have to change the strategy a little bit. But that's all you can do and prepare for the best you can with the information you've been given. Do you at least get a practice round there uh, when you get down to the tournament? Will you be able to at least get a few holes in or will you be – heading straight to the course for the event. No, so we we fly in Friday and we'll get to go to the course and just practice. Um, okay. Like use the facilities, but then Saturday we'll play a practice round. So it'll be the first time we see the course and we'll play 18 and get a good get a, get a good idea of how the course is playing for the week then. Okay, so you get some time. Let's go to you individually. You're a fifth year senior. You obviously could have moved on from Georgia State after last year's shortened season. What led to you coming back for another campaign with the Panthers? I think there was just some unfinished business 
um, having that cut short, uh, I felt like I wasn't ready to move on. Um, you know, I still want to keep playing golf and be competitive. My freshman year, I was, I was at, I was at the conference tournament, but I didn't play. I was just watching and supporting the guys. Um, and, and I watched them win a, the Sunbelt Championship and take home the ring. And it was an awesome experience to be part of. And, you know, it's something I, I want to be in the team playing and winning that this year. So not having a chance last, last April motivated me. And, yeah, we want to take out this, this conference title. That's why I came back. Yeah, and what was this off season like for you? You're from Australia, uh, and so obviously you're far away from your your home. Did you go back to Australia during, in this past year? Have you stayed in the United States? Uh, how did you just handle uh, this whole situation this past year? Yeah, so um, I've actually stayed in America the whole time. Mm -hmm. I haven't been home yet. It's once everything started locking down. Um, it became pretty clear that it was going to cost a lot of money to go home. And I also, so then looking at Christmas time too, specifically, it was going to be um, quite a few thousand to stay in a hotel room and quarantine for two weeks to only get to be in the country for two weeks before coming back with the um, short break over Christmas. So family and I made the decision that I'd stay over here and yeah, I haven't been home yet. So it's been, it's been tough, but I know. I think it's been the, the best option right now. Yeah. Now, I was doing my research, and I see you're from the Gold, Gold Coast, Australia, uh, but you're born in New Zealand. And, uh, and I see that you also are a rugby player. So my question yeah. is, do you support the Wallabies or the All Blacks uh, when it comes to the rugby competitions? Yeah, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no debating that. I'm going to All Blacks for life for sure. Really? Okay. So when did you move to Australia from New Zealand? I was eight years old, so I grew up, I played rugby for about three years in New Zealand. So okay, so you're I, still still loyal to the to the All Blacks. Oh, yeah, I, I could never go to the Wallabies. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, you, but you're, you know, you, you were spent a lot of time in Australia. Uh, yeah. But why did you stop playing rugby? And I saw you were a cross country athlete as well. What led to the decision, I guess, to focus on uh, golf? I, I've always just, so I played rugby and golf all through high school. Um, I like the challenge of golf for some reason, just the, the individual battle that you have. Um, I love, I played rugby up until my senior year and I loved it. But, and I kind of knew I, I wasn't going to head in that direction after high school. And golf was always my, my passion at the end of the day. And yeah, I, I mean, I love to watch rugby though. I'll watch rugby over golf any day bit playing I'll play golf there's such opposite sports golf is mu very much about the individual and rugby is is counter to that it's all about the team and, and working together as a unit did, do you see any similarities with them maybe do you take some of your rugby experience into golf or do you, is, are they just completely different entities for you um I think they are very different if you're playing like an event during the summer here in America, it's, it's all by yourself. But for example, being on the college team, mm -hmm. it, it's very much a one of the few chances you get to be in that team environment. So I definitely have taken some stuff from rugby and um, from that team environment that's helped in college golf because it's weird. You're, you're competing against your the own guys on your team to win an individual title, but you're also working together to win the team title. So it's a unique experience. It's one of the only sports you can really do that. But, yeah, I've definitely pulled stuff from rugby. Yeah, and how do you end up at – how did you end up at Georgia State? I mean, you're halfway around the world, literally, from from Australia or, you know, or New Zealand even, just from Asia or Australia, you know, the continent, all the way to the United States and North America. What was that process like for you, and why did you choose Georgia State? Uh, yeah, so there, there was actually an Australian on the team for me and he helped get me in touch with the coach. And from there, I got, got talking and I actually came over and played an event, um, had a visit and played an event. He watched me play and kind of after that, he, he offered me a, a position. So, and that was just, 
you know, just how it happened and very grateful for the opportunity because it's been an awesome experience. Yeah, what has it been like being in, and you're fortunate because Atlanta is a, a metropolis city, at least in the United States, you could have ended up a lot of other places, but what has your experience at Atlanta, in Atlanta uh, been like? You're in the center of one of the big areas of golf in the world, obviously the Masters and Tour Championship and all that stuff, uh, but what's it like been, what's it been like for you uh, here in Georgia? It, it's been incredible. Um, coming from the Gold Coast, you know, it's golf is golf is quite popular, but it wouldn't say by any means um, the most popular sport or anything. You know, we've got the beach right there, surfing's very popular. Whereas coming to Atlanta, the the quality of golf courses, I'd say, is one of the main things that has been incredible. We the, the size and everything, we just don't have that. Um, where I'm from and then like you're saying that the tournaments you know I've got to go to the Masters I've got to go to the Tour Championship I you know get to run up the 18th hole I didn't do it when Tiger was there but um, when Rory won you know everyone's running up the last the year after Tiger won I was part of that you know it's just right there watching you know you got access to some of the best guys in the world and some of the best courses in the world it's it's been awesome and I something I wouldn't, I couldn't have gotten staying on the Gold Coast. Well, good. I'm glad you've enjoyed your experiences in Georgia. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for your time, Josh, and a good luck in this conference tournament for the Sun Belt. Thank you very much.